We got the New England Patriots taking on the New York Jets. New England favored by two and a half. Uh, over under is 36 and a half on this one. Uh, Bill Belichick is still a mastermind. And by the time it's all said and done with, he will still own the Jets, right? Especially with Zach Wilson led. So I'm going to take New England to cover this. I think it's a field goal game, uh, but I'm going to take the under. I think it's going to be ugly. Um, it's going to be harder for Mac Jones to move the ball around. They're going to have to utilize both Zeke and Stevenson best they can. Um, Hunter Henry in the red zone, yes, but the, I'm not seeing any big plays coming out of this. This Jets defense is a it is a good unit, guys. Like, don't let this you know, don't let last week against the Cowboys fool you. Um, the unit there is very strong, so just not quite enough offensively. So I'm gonna say New England covers. Yeah, I like that. I I do think the New England wins this. I think this is a field goal game. Again, this is one of those that I think we're going to get some ugly scoring when it's all said and done. You know, 18, 15, uh, 17, 14 type of deal. We we might even get uh, – no, nah, I think that's about it. About 18, 15 I think is how we're going to see this thing play out here. Um, so the under is where I'm taking. I do think New England wins this thing by that field goal. One of the props that I really like was Hunter Henry to go over – his receiving prop Hunter Henry's been on a tear of late this season. Uh, rushing or receiving prop only 29 and a half yards. I like that. He's been the early season tight end darling, right? If you waited on tight end, uh, this is this is why, right? Hunter Henry tight end two going into week three. Not saying that that's sustainable, but it is showing that you can wait on tight end, especially with the health issues of the top four that we've seen here and Kyle Pitts just being non-existent. Um, so another, you know, chalk it up to being able to wait on tight end once again. Now, with that said, I'm taking uh, Garrett Wilson over 48 and a half. This number just seems so low. And yes, the Patriots are going to do some different things. They're going to make it difficult. I think he can find a way to get to 50, 53 yards. And you just hope some of those yards leads him into the end zone to get you to, you know, a, you know, a 13, a, a 13 point week, right? That's what you're kind of looking for. You're looking for a 13, maybe a 14 point week out of Garrett Wilson. And that is a win for your team. 